Hey, it's me again, Charles Finch, the greatest villain expert and Doctor Who expert. All right, so the news have dropped and the BBC has announced that Jodie Whittaker and Chris Chibnall, the showrunner, are both going to be leaving by leaving Doctor Who next year at tw in 2022. So it's been announced that they're both leaving and uh, because... Back in 2017, they've made a three-season outpact together since the beginning of this era. And um, they've done amazingly well. And uh, Jody has bring some warmth, humour, generosity and strength into this era. And hopefully all of you who are Doctor Who fans and Whit Jodie Whittaker fans, and some of you who are not Doctor Who fans, can go check out the show. Jodie has been magnificent. She has brought some joy into this role. She's brought some fresh air. And back in 2017, when she she brought history, she no, she made history as the first female Doctor. And I was so excited of what this Doctor can do. As uh, the Doctor has regenerated lots of times. And um, and uh, now that she is leaving and Chibnall is going to be leaving alongside her, the BBC and the BBC Studios are choosing their successors of who it's going to be. It's either going to be Vinod Patel or Pete Mateague, as they both, as Pete Mateague wrote the stories Kablam and um, Praxius. He wrote, he wrote Kablam and Praxius. So he is more likely the optional, very standard choice to be the next showrunner. And also there's, there's, also, hopefully, well, there have been rumours that uh, there are competitors of who's going to replace Jodie Whittaker. And so there's Michaela Cole, Ollie Alexander, Chris Marshall, David Harwood, Phoebe Waller-Bridge, and... And well, that's it, actually. <laughs> And Richard, oh, and Richard Aoti as well. So, um, so there are six people who are competing of who's going to be the next Doctor. So, who who do you think is going to be the next Doctor? All right. So, uh, post your comments below of who's going to be who of but who you want the next Doctor to be. Well, we'll have to wait until next year because I think this year we won't be getting an announcement of who the 14th Doctor is going to be. It's going to be likely next year doing during uh, Jodie's mid, you know, of Trio 3 specials. I is likely going to be announced in the summer by next year. And uh, so Jodie is going to be leaving. Well, she... she so this, we're going to wait until this until this series, series 13, is going to launch. And it's going to be a six-part story and not a stand any standalone episodes. It's going to be a big six-part series. And there are rumours that the Sontarans and the Weeping Angels and the Daleks are going to be in this series as well. Also, if all of you haven't seen the Comic Con panel with the very special guest that has been uh, talked about by other YouTubers like Nerdan and Theres and William Who and all of them. The special guest was not David Tennant or any of them. It was the it was Game of Thrones actor Jacob Anderson. Well I'm not I haven't I've never watched Game of Thrones. So I don't know who Jacob Anderson is, uh, but I know he that he was in Game of Thrones, even though I haven't watched it. Uh, but 
He's going to be a recurring character named Vendor in this series, a reoccurring character in series 13. So I would like to see how that plays out. Also, uh, people have said that he is, they've been theorizing that he is an incarnation of Romana. Well, I'm not sure because we haven't seen Romana for a very long time. I mean, I mean, she was part of the time war that she fought against the Daleks. I am not sure she she's been off the map for a, lots of years, so we don't know. I mean, it could be it could be a possibility that Vinder is actually Romana because. If you've seen the uh, scene where the Doctor and Romana speak of how to shorten Romana's Roma, Romana Faratna Lunder's name, and here's the... Your name. What about my name? It's too long. By the time I've called out, look out... What's your name? Romana Dvaratna Lunda. By the time I've called that out, you could be dead. I'll call you Romana. I don't like Romana. It's either Romana or Fred. All right, call me Fred. Good. Come on, Romana. So, yeah, basically, if Vinda really is Romana, we have to keep our eyes open. Because we don't know much about Vinda, because he looks like a Time Lord. He looks like he worked for the Division. So, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. What do you think? So, I hope you all enjoyed this, but also, wait, 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 before I go, before I go, I want to talk about something. So, I want to talk about spin-offs. All right, so, obviously, back in the late 2000s, uh, between 2006 and 2011, Doctor Who has expanded two spin-offs, like uh, Torchwood and the Sarah Jane Adventures. So Torchwood was uh, led by its by uh, Captain Jack Harkness and the Sarah Jane Adventures. Well, Sarah Jane Smith. So those were amazing spin-offs, and also um, we haven't. Um, well, I'm hoping that in the future that Doctor Who can somehow make more spin make more spin-offs, or at least one or two or three, I think maybe one, as uh, hopefully, because uh, it's going to be like the Marvel Cinematic Universe, except it's going to be the Doctor Who universe. Yeah, so uh, my idea for a spin-off is going to be like, well, I I would say 10. Number 10, uh, The Master, as a, uh, we would I would like to see uh, the Master have his own spin-off. Well, it could be either Master. It could be uh, John Sim or Michelle Gomez. And number nine, I would like a like a unit. I would like unit to have the spin-off as I uh, be led by Kate, Kate Stewart. And uh, number eight, it's gonna be tough. Martha and Mickey. I would like to see Martha and Mickey have a spin-off of their own. So Unit can be an, an adult series, uh, same with uh, Martha and Mickey. And then number seven, the Palanoster Gang. I would like to see the Palanoster Gang make, uh, make a return and have their own spin-off series. And I think the spin-off can be on this CBBC channel. And then number five, number five, Clara and me. So I would like to see Clara Oswald return uh, with her companion, me, played by Macy Williams, and have their own spin-off. Number four. Number four. Joe Grant, the Joe Grant Adventures. So, Joe Grant, 
who is notably known, notably known as the Third Doctor's companion, Joe Grant, played by Katie Manning, I think she would make a, I think she would make a great spin-off show. I yeah, just similar to Sarah Jane's. Okay, and uh, number three, number three. Martha Jones. Yeah, I know that Martha Jones has I know that Big Finish has announced that Martha Jones is gonna be a is gonna have her own Big Finish audio spin-off. But Oh well Oh well actually I already said about Martha Jones there. Uh number three, um Ace. The Ace Adventures. Now Ace played by Sophie Aldred who is also the companion of the Seventh Doctor, played by Sylvester McCoy. I would like to see her have her own spin-off series. And uh, it's like that could it be like a title like A Charitable Earth or just The Ace Adventures. Who knows? So, yeah. Number two. Number two. Romana. Romana. Yeah. Talking about Romana, I would like to see her have her own spin-off series. And uh, number one, lastly, number one. Well, I would like to see Torchwood return for a fifth series. And yeah, to have Captain Jack return, have Gwen Cooper return. And yeah, so um, that's basically 10 ideas of spin-offs. All right. So, but... I would like to see Ace and Joe Grant have their own two spin-off series. So if there is a showrunner and if the, the main show is being successful for high ratings, then there will be a spin-off. I promise you that. So who do you think? What do you think? So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and comment below. Bring on the spin-offs.